Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about transitioning into software development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story. Hi Frederick, my name is Rajesh. I'm 37 years old from India. I am a YouTube, uh, one of your YouTube followers. I like your videos and I really admire your technical expertise. Thank you. I need your suggestion regarding my career journey. I work as a UI engineer in a product based company called, well let's omit that. Uh, it's related to automobile, uh, uh, it's related to automobile trading companies or a trading domain. Uh, we have online portals of different products for our company and my regular job involves developing HTML conversions of design mocks and dealing with user interactions and providing design support for developer teams. I've been working in this field for more than six years. I work with HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript and jQuery and Adobe tools at times. I love React.js a lot. Sometimes I work on small side projects on React to improve my skills. In my free time I practice code snippets of JavaScript, React, React Native and Node to improve my knowledge. But it's not up to the mark. I take this COVID situation as an opportunity to polish my skills and I want to try, jo uh, try jobs abroad in my field. Can you suggest to me how to improve my skills and uh, proceed further in the search of a job abroad? Any small suggestion would help me. Thanks in advance. So I would say that you have a kind of a good head start. I mean, it's hard for me to say this or that because if you say to me that, well, my skills aren't up to scratch to to the mark, I don't really know if you're accurate in that or if maybe you're too hard on yourself. It's hard to say. So I, I'm just going to have to assume that you are correct and that there are things that you could improve upon. But I'll give you the secret about all this, guys. Everybody can improve on things. The, I mean, as, if we just take front end and we're like just going to ignore back end and like all the other stuff. Guys, there is so much. There's so, so, so much that you could have to learn in order to be like the best of the best. You kind of just have to accept that. It's really hard. To be, I could, to be a good software developer is hard. It's really, really hard. And even the ones that are really, really good, they don't know everything. So with that out of the way, I would say that you, I, th I think that you, ha you have an interesting situation actually, because you are, uh, I'm not going to say this or that about it, but you are from my perspective, one of those developers who are in the niche area, you're in uh, your your job. The thing that you are doing is not very likely. Some, well, I haven't seen it all that much. It's not something that is for every company, if that makes sense. It's uh, it's one of those prof those roles where what you do is like it's not the standard thing, right? But it's 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 that's a good and a bad thing depending on how you look at it. The thing that is good about it is that you have experience with HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, etc., etc., right? And that in of itself is, I mean, that's kind of the same. So I mean, that that was the list. That was like I'm not gonna gonna say anything else because that was the list that was completely spot on for a front end developer, say ten years ago. And that's like if you switch out jQuery for say React or Angular or something like that, it's pretty much there. Like you, you're very close to being well. I would say a junior software. Like at the very least, you have the the tools of a junior front end developer. So if you want to get into the React space and start doing that sort of thing, I don't think that the the leap for you would have to be all that 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 hefty right and if you have design skills and so forth that's something that you can absolutely leverage these are very good perks that you can bring if you want to do front-end work now the thing that I have to say on the other hand is that you you, you if you don't have the coding skills that might be a problem uh, it, it, well, it certainly will be a problem if if you can't produce the applications that are required of whoever you want to work for. But the 
the thing that I find so interesting about your situation is that you are working very closely to developers or to developer teams like you provide them with design uh, suggestions and so forth and I would really I would very seriously explore if with my employer or like the teams if they're open to you helping out a little bit or something like that because w what gives you a, that's a very unique opportunity for you it I'm not saying that you should like try to pitch that you're gonna be like a a full-fledged developer right you don't have to go that far but if you just this is like dipping your toes in a little bit and feeling the waters because if you can help the developers all within your company with whatever they're doing and you feel I'm not saying comfortable necessarily but you feel like you know what's going on well now you have a benchmark and that is the hardest thing for a junior software developer is literally the hardest thing to figure out how good am I in comparison to where I should be or how who are the people etc etc that's the sort of stuff that you kind of figure out after a while of working but that's that's the whole like that's the hen and the, the chicken and the egg right you, you you have to have experience to figure out if you're good and if you don't have expect it's it's hard it is really hard so you have a, I think you have an amazing opportunity here and apart from that I would suggest to you to start doing the same thing that like I did myself and I think that most software developers do this like regardless of what what you're going to do start first and foremost by asking what is it that I want to make now you're talking about react specifically and it sounds to me like you're kind of describing here a like the full stack JavaScript role or the front-end JavaScript type of developer that uh, we all know and love right and so that's the first part of it so now you kind of know what you're looking for and the second part is to figure out okay what are the professional grade software development tools that practically everybody uses right that's the second part and there's tons of roadmaps there's tons of other stuff that you could go look at I highly recommend always going to the job posting that's the best place to find like a short list of tools that are relevant and then you start trying to figure that stuff out do you you know do you know how version control works do you know like you're talking about node.js do you know how next works do you know how express works or depending on what you pick of course and so forth uh, are you gonna go even further in the back end are you gonna learn about databases etc etc or are you gonna like bundlers webpack what's that about parcel like there's all these sorts of things right uh, and start feeling around a little bit and see what's out there and once you have a a fair a good understanding of the tools of the trade like kind of what they do and like what they're about start doing the thing that most of us are doing uh, build things make things and as I said if you can get your your developer uh, team to to like if you can get close to them somehow that's a very good thing otherwise make portfolio projects m uh, take online courses there are many good ones out there where you can learn a lot of tools and so forth and once you feel comfortable producing basic applications right? it doesn't have to be something super fancy it's just something that is semi serious not like the standard to do app you can start off by making a few to do apps but try to make something a little bit bigger so you feel like you're a little bit unsure sometimes on how to proceed and so forth because that's a good thing uh, once you're at that point then update your CV and start applying for jobs and then go on the job hunt just as quite a lot of developers are so what I want you to take away from this is that if you are looking to transition into front end the front end space or if you want to be a full stack JS developer or something like that as this person is a designer uh, design skills it's uh, and in this case it's actually I would even go as far as to say web design in many uh, to to a large extent the transition isn't as big as you might think it is it definitely requires you to learn about programming and so forth but you have a lot of already valuable skills that you can bring with you because a lot of so I mean a lot of front end developers myself included are really shitty at design and UX and all of that good stuff the stuff that you th would think that we should be super super good at right but we're not like uh, me and uh, quite a lot of software developers like we know about coding we know about how to optimize bundle sizers or load times or like web platforms things like that but like how to make something look really nice and like uh, the, uh, make a good user experience there are a whole genre of front-end developers who are extraordinarily good at that sort of stuff and they're also working 
side by side you have strengths and weaknesses if that makes sense and your strength might be just this thing so now you just have to get your coding skills up to scratch so you at the very least feel comfortable applying for jobs have a great day